In this video, I will consider one numerical on load analysis. In the network shown below, find current through 10 ohm register using nodal analysis. This is the given circuit. Here we have 10 ohm register. We need to find current through this 10 ohm register using node analysis or nodal analysis. As we know in node analysis, first we have to identify the nodes. So here we have one node, here we have one node and here we have one node. So by default, this will be the reference node and voltage at this node will be zero. Let me assume voltage at this node is V1, let voltage at this node is V2. So in node analysis, after identifying the nodes, we have to mark all branch currents. Let me assume current through this branch is I1, let current through this branch is I2, this is I3, this is I4 and let current through this branch is I5. So now we need to apply KCL to each node. That is apply Kirchhoff's current law to node V1 first. We know that KCL says that incoming current is equal to outgoing current. At this node current I1 is incoming I2 and I3 are leaving the node. So I can write I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. After writing this we need to represent currents in terms of voltages. So I1 can be represented as 50 angle 45 minus V1 divided by J2. That is 50 angle 45 minus V1 divided by J2 is equal to I2 is nothing but V1. So this voltage is 0. So V1 divided by 10. V1 divided by 10 plus I3 is nothing but potential difference between these two node voltages divided by minus J4. That is V1 minus V2 divided by minus J4. 50 angle 45 divided by J2 and we have minus V1 by J2 minus V1 by J2 is equal to V1 by 10 plus V1 by minus J4 then we have minus V2 by minus J4, minus V2 by minus, let me simplify this further. So 1 upon J means minus J, 50 by 2 is 25. I can write it as minus J, 50 by 2 is 25 angle 45 minus. So 1 upon J means it will be, that is 1 upon J will be equal to minus J. So I can write, so here this minus and this minus will become plus j 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 v1 is equal to here we have 0 0.1 v1 so here 1 upon minus j means plus j that is 1 upon minus j is equal to plus j that is i can write j 1 upon 4 means 0 0.25 v1 similarly here 1 upon minus j means plus j it will be minus j 1 upon 4 is 0 0.25 v2. I will simplify further. I can write it as minus j 25 angle 45 is equal to v1. I will take common. Here it is 0 0.1. We have plus 0 point j 25. I will take this term on right hand side. It will become minus j 0 0.5. That is minus j 0 0.5 remaining term I will write as it is 0 0.25 V2. Let me simplify that is minus J 25 angle 45 is equal to V1. So here real term is 0 0.1. We have 0 0.25 minus 0 0.5. So we will get minus J 0 0.25 minus J 0. 25 V2. So here this part can be solved as keep calculator in complex mode then feed the value as minus 1J into 25 angle 
45 directly you can feed this value in calculator so feeding this we will get the result as 17.678 minus j 17.678 this term i will keep as it is that is v1 0 0.1 minus j 0 0.25 minus j 0 0.25 v2 let me call it as equation 1 now apply kcl to this node so here i3 is incoming i4 and i5 are living so i3 is equal to i4 plus i5 i3 is equal to i4 plus i5 so i3 is nothing but v1 minus v2 divided by minus j4 v1 minus v2 divided by minus j4 is equal to I4 is nothing but V2 by J2, V2 by J2 plus I5 can be written as V2 divided by Pi, V2 by Pi. Let me simplify this. So here I3 is nothing but this value, this entire term is nothing but I3, I will write this directly that is J 0 0.25 V1 minus J 0 0.25 V2, J 0 0.25 V2 is equal to here we have 1 upon J means minus j 1 upon 2 means 0 0.5 v2 plus 1 upon 5 means 0 0.2 v2 let me simplify further i can write 0 is equal to i will take all these term on left hand side i can write j 0 0.25 v1 minus j 0 0.25 v2 i'll take this term on left hand side it will be plus j 0 0.5 v2 this will be minus 0 0.2 v2 let me simplify further so here only one v1 term that is j 0 0.25 v1 let me take v2 common here plus v2 in bracket here it will be minus j 0 0.25 here it will be plus j 0 0.5 and here it is minus 0 0.2 find further j 0 0.25 v1 plus v2 here we have real term is minus 0 0.2 0 0.25 plus 0 point minus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 it will be plus j 0 0.25 let me call it as equation 2 so now we need to solve these two equations using Kramer's rule. Solving equation 1 and 2 using Kramer's rule. So now to solve this Kramer's rule, first we have to keep these two values in matrix form. So I will write these values in column matrix that is 17.678 minus J 17.6780 this should be one column is equal to now here the coefficient of V1 that is 0 0.1 minus J 0 0.25 coefficient of V2 are minus J 0 0.25. Now with respect to second equation coefficient of v1 is j 0.25 coefficient of v2 is minus 0.2 plus j 0.25 and here variables v1 and v2. So now we have to solve for v1 and v2. So before solving we have to find the determinant of this square matrix. So determinant will be represented as delta which is equal to this term into this term minus this term into this term that is 0 0.1 minus j 
zero point two five should be kept in one bracket into with this that is minus zero point two plus j zero point two five minus these two will be multiplied that is zero point that is j zero point two five into minus j zero point two five so directly feed these values in calculator make sure that calculator is in complex mode let me solve this solving this we will get minus 0 0.02 plus j 0 0.075 so let me calculate v1 so v1 will be equal to so now here we we know that this column is coefficient of v1 this column is coefficient of v2 so to calculate v1 we have to replace this column by these values that is v1 is equal to 17.678 minus j 17.678 and this value should be replaced by 0 this will be 0 and this column coefficient of v2 should be kept as it is that is minus j 0 0.25 and we have minus 0 0.2 plus j 0 0.25 so we have to find determinant of this divided by delta delta is already we have calculated so let me simplify this further v1 is equal to so this so now multiply this term with this term i will write directly <coughs> so we will get 0 0.8839 plus j 7.955 divided by delta so delta value is minus 0 0.02 we have plus j 0 0.075 so solving this we will get 16 plus j 144.6 volts therefore i can write v1 is equal to let me keep this in polar form so in polar form we will get 145. 52 at an angle of 83.65 degree volts so this is the v1 similar so here we need to find current through 10 ohm register so current through 10 ohm register is i2 so i2 is equal to v1 divided by 10 so now we no need to find this v2 i will ignore this v2 because the current through 10 ohm register is dependent on only v1 so let me calculate current through 10 ohm register so therefore current through 10 ohm is equal to v1 divided by we have 10 v1 divided by 10 which is equal to 145.52 at an angle of 83.65 degree divided by 10 which gives 14.552 at an angle 83.65 degree volts so this is the required result thank you for watching